everyone. Just wanted to jump on and share a few things that Kohala and I are doing here at home to boost our vitamins so we can keep a strong, healthy immune system. Um, and mainly the two vitamins we're focusing on are vitamin C and vitamin B, and then flushing with some really good teas um, along with water. Um, so the first one is a lemon drink we actually use in our cleanse, um, and it's three main ingredients and then water. Um, if you have a lemon tree in your backyard, um, that would be the best, uh, especially since they seem to be so abundant right now. But if you don't, um, Sprouts actually has not from concentrate lemon juice. There's uh, this brand. They also have their own brand that's not from Concentrate, or if you can go to Trader Joe's, you can get this brand um, that's also a not from Concentrate, and they're all organic, um, straight lemon juice. The other ingredient you'll need is um, an organic molasses, and then cayenne pepper. So um, what I'm gonna do is just make a uh, concentrate and then show you how you can either have it as a cold drink in the morning or we like to add a little bit of hot water in the morning um, to make it more like a tea. Um, and it's all about portions. It's super easy and the concentrate will last in your fridge um, for several days. So um, you wanna do a four to one ratio. Um, so molasses, I'm gonna fill up uh, one quarter and then the last three quarters will be the lemon juice and then it just comes down really vigorous shaking let's see that looks about right and you can just eyeball it um, the one thing when you go to add the water is you just want to make sure to play with the portions especially if this is a drink that's new to you the molasses is really high in minerals and the vitamin c or the lemon is really high in uh, natural form of vitamin C, so it's really easily accessible for the body to get to. So we're just gonna fill it up the rest of the way with the lemon juice. Ta-da, just like that. And then throw a lid on here. Make sure it's on really nice and tight. And then you're just gonna shake, 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 shake. And you'll see that it starts to blend together. And we could be shaking here for days. So I'm just gonna show you one that I already have blended. I'm getting down to the um, bottom of this concentrate, but you can see I, I make a huge bottle of it because we're drinking so much of it right now, especially. Um, and it lasts us right now probably about five days. Um, and what we do from here is you'll take the concentrate, you'll get a cup, and then again, it's about those portions. So from the concentrate, you'll pour in about one quarter. And then you just go ahead and fill it up with water to there. And then the top part, I'm just gonna top off with some hot water. Make my tea. go and then cayenne to taste cayenne's really good for so many things one of them is helping our blood stay clean which a clean blood actually helps remove all the toxins so if we're um, exposed to anything else whether it's just natural environmental stuff happening right now or um, any of the extra germs that seem to be going around um, the cayenne will actually help balance some of that so there's your tea it tastes really good it is a bit of a uh, acquired taste um, so like I said play with the portions so maybe start with a little less concentrate if this is something new to you um, and then uh, adjust the water uh, accordingly a few of the other things um, that we're doing at home is if we choose to have some of our um, coffee in the morning we're really filling it up with a, a lot of healing herbs a lot of them are the same ones that I would use in my um, ceremonial cacao um, and one of them is turmeric ginger uh, cinnamon and then cardamom and then we're also putting um, some reishi mushroom mix um, in our coffee or um, cacao blends right now just because they're all really good at helping the immune system stay strong, keeping down inflammation, um, and all kinds of other good stuff. Now, another good form of vitamin C is tangerine. 
Um, we choose tangerine over a uh, regular orange just because it's just a little bit more easily accessible. So if you have a tangerine or mandarin orange tree in your backyard or front yard, um, go eat as many as you can. If not, you can get the tangerine juice um, from Trader Joe's uh, and that's really good. Now, if you wanted to make a good flushing tea, you can make a chamomile tea and then take your thyme, um, the herb thyme, off of uh, your spice rack and just add maybe like a quarter teaspoon to a big like four to six cup um, batch. And then you can add a little bit of honey uh, for to boost the immune system. Um, or you can add a little bit of lemon juice to your tea. Um, I also sometimes like to do a little bit of honey and goat milk um, if it's uh, later at night because then it just helps um, with sleeping. But the tea is going to help also flush your system and just make sure you're getting a lot of um, good quality water flushing through your system now as well just to keep everything moving out. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Happy spring and uh, we'll check you out soon.